welcome back to my channel it is your girl jasmine destine if you're new here if you're returning hey girl hey what's up what's good what's goody we are back with a new video okay so today i'm gonna be doing a diy project diy beauty service um, if you guys are new to my channel, then you would not know that this is something that I tend to do pretty often. But if you are an OG or a returning subscriber, then you know that I love to do DIY beauty services on myself. I like to coin the term that I'm a DIY queen, Jasmine DIY Destine. So yeah, today I'm actually going to be doing a DIY lash extensions on myself. Um, I've actually done this before on my channel a couple of years ago. Um, this was definitely during the pandemic when everything was literally shut down the world was on standstill and i wasn't able to go obviously and get services done so i started doing a lot of them at home and i tried diy lash extensions and the brand that i actually used was also kiss so today i'm going to be trying the viral sensation that i've literally been seeing all over tiktok which is the false scara kits from kiss lashes so this is supposed to be diy lash extensions at home so if you guys are interested in seeing how i'm going to achieve my diy lash extensions then make sure you guys keep watching don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up down below go ahead and click that subscribe button and let's just get right into the video okay so like i said i've seen this all over tiktok um so basically this is what the kit looks like this is how it comes it's called falscara and it's from kissusa.com but i did actually get this off of amazon um if i can find something on amazon i'm order on amazon and get it in two days that's just what I'm gonna do prime is that girl so I was actually able to get all of the things that I'm using today off of Amazon so everything will be linked down below in my Amazon storefront but then also just linked in the description box for you guys so I have the false scara kit here which comes with a set of the um, lash extensions the wisp that's what they're called wisp it comes with a bond and with a seal and then a little tweezer applicator um, and then I also picked up another like multi-pack from Falscara as well. So this has different lengths ranging from small all the way to large. That's what that looks like. I did purchase the remover just because I wanted to make sure that I would have this on hand. You know, if I had to take them off, um, if they were hurting my eye, you know, anything like that. So I think this is very important. A lot of people, um, I only watched a few reviews, but everyone said that you should definitely get the remover. So I purchased that as well. And then this is not a part of the Falscara um, kit or anything, but I did purchase some 19 millimeter lash wisp off of Amazon as well. This pack. Um, is all 19 millimeter length so these are really long so typically when I go to get my lash extensions done by my lash tech um, I know she uses lengths 15 through 18 sometimes 19 I believe and she kind of layers them so that they're really wispy because that's what I ask for I want like a really wispy like fluttery but volume set so I actually picked these up because I want to layer these on top of <laughs> the falscara so i haven't seen anyone do that yet um but this is also something that i did in my video that i filmed of what was that two th two and a half years ago um i actually put it here for reference but i ended up layering lash extensions that um came in that kit because i wanted them to be fuller but then i ended up cutting like a strip lash up in pieces and placing it on top which is basically what this is giving like this is basically this is giving me like it's a wispy lash that was um cut up like a strip lash that was cut into little chunks so but it's supposed to be really light so that it's not heavy and you're actually supposed to place them underneath your lashes as opposed to on top okay so i've zoomed you guys in this is what my lashes look like i've been wearing extensions for like the past couple of months pretty consistently so i feel like i don't have a lot of lashes like my lashes are there but they naturally point down oh i also forgot to show you guys that i purchased it came in a pack of three and i thought these were so cute but they're mini lash curlers i thought that this would help with like really clamping at the base of my lash line and like squeezing them together so that they're secure but it's literally like a little mini 
lash curler and I thought these were so cute and you get a black one and then a rose gold and a silver so I thought that was really cute um, so I'm gonna just open up this first so before I actually go in, I know you're supposed to do the bond. You're supposed to brush on the bond, place the wisp underneath, and then lock it in with the seal. Before I go ahead and do that, I'm actually going to customize this set here. They're really thin and wispy. Okay, so I'm definitely going to take some of my 19 millimeter lashes and I'm going to just... I'm gonna do a few on one so I can show you guys what it looks like and then we'll do it together. So I took the lashes out of the pack. This is what they look like originally right on this side. And this is what the customized set looks like that I just did. So I actually layered twice on every single piece. So first I did the second pack that I had of the Falscara Wisp. Um, that go from small to large and from the inner corner working my way out I did smalls on the first two wisps and then I did medium on the two in the middle and then on the end I did one large and then after I did that I took the 19 millimeter wisp and I basically just layered that one on top too so it looks a lot fuller and it's still really thin because I want you guys to keep in mind um, these are supposed to go under your lashes basically like at, I, I want to call it a weft but I know that's probably not what it's called but at the base of where the lashes are attached at the little band it's super super thin so even with me layering two um, wisps on top of it it's still super super thin so I don't think that it's gonna bother my eye um, but I just want to make sure that they're gonna stick really well so I'm gonna actually stick these on and then we'll do the other eye customizing them together and applying them together Okay, so this is the result of doing one eye, just like trying to see if it worked. And my method worked. Bitch, my method worked! Look at these lashes. It's giving um, length, babes. And it's giving definitely, um, it's giving like a hybrid set, like a wispy hybrid set. I'm honestly obsessed. This looks so good. Like, look at my lashes it's giving 120 dollars say it's giving 130 dollars say your girl be spending money on her lashes and the fact that i just did this and also it took like no time like i kind of took my time with it and it's still i did it in under 20 minutes like literally this was the quickest i've ever had my lashes done and they look so good so this is what it looks like underneath like you can't even really tell that i have like wispy chunks under there like and it's super light so i ended up doing the seal on the bottom and on the top just because i wanted to make sure that it was like secure they feel so good it's not heavy at all it's super light ah! 
this is about to be my new favorite thing okay so so yeah now we're about to get into how i layered the wispy pieces so that we can put them on my second eye okay so this is the other eye that i have here this is exactly how it comes in the kit so it's gonna start off with the longest lengths on the outside and then taper into the inner corner on the inside being the shorter length. Um, and then these are just the same, but it's a second kit that I purchased that I showed you guys. So these are small to large. So this one is definitely a small. These look like two mediums and then this looks like two large. So I kind of just layered the same lengths on top. Um, and I actually take the bond and I'm gonna take the bond and brush it onto the top of these whiskey pieces and then layer these on top so you want to take the little cap off like that that's what's holding the lashes in place i'm gonna take the bond and i'm gonna brush it on top of this one right here i saw that you can actually purchase the bond in a bottle as opposed to a brush and a mascara like applicator situation like here so i think i'm gonna get that next just because i feel like it would be easier to kind of brush it on with like a little brush as opposed to a mascara one and then i'm gonna take a large and I'm gonna lay it right on top of that last cluster. This is a little tricky if the tweezers get sticky from the bond, which is gonna happen, so don't get frustrated. Yeah, you wanna stick that on there like that and make sure it's close to the little band. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more of the bond and I'm gonna brush a little bit more on top. And then I'm going to go into my 19 millimeter clusters and I'm going to take two of these. I'm going to take one of the 19 millimeter clusters and I'm going to stick one on here. Okay, so that's one of them stuck on and you want to make sure it's straight. And then I'm going to stick the other one on. And that is what the outside cluster looks like. I'm gonna do one of the medium and one of the small, just so you can see. Alrighty, so I finished doing the other eye, adding my, I finished customizing the other eye. Now I get to go in with the bond. I'm just gonna comb this on. And really, you only wanna put the bond on the lashes that you know are going to be stuck to one of the wisps so you can definitely focus it toward the outer end but like i put it all the way on the inner corner and those lashes don't have anything on them so it didn't really make sense to bring it all the way in but i'm just making sure i'm really generous with this because this is what's going to allow my lashes to stick to the wisp that's what that looks like and then i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna do from the outer corner to the inner corner and then grabbing the first cluster um it helped me with like pulling my eye up slightly so i could see under my lashes and i'm going to just stick this right here stick it on that's what it looks like Like, the application is so easy, it's kind of crazy. And you want to kind of do this quickly because the bond will stay sticky. Like, it's still sticky from 
the little wisp that I put it on, but it does start to dry, so. And I'm gonna go with the tweezers and I'm gonna just squeeze my lashes and the wisp together at the base. This is really gonna make them sit right in front of your lash line and like look more natural. And then I noticed that I have a gap here and I have one more right here. So I'm actually gonna take two of the 19 millimeter little clusters in here that's so easy like do you see how easy it is and it's so thin it's not heavy like i promise you even with me layering they're not heavy Ooh. so this is what it looks like and then to seal the deal in, I'm literally, I'm gonna take this seal on the other end of this bottle. It also is a mascara one applicator. And this has vitamin E oil in it, and it's supposed to help take away any of the stickiness while also sealing in the bond in place. And I'm generous with this because I just wanna make sure that these are secure. And then I also took this and I put it on the top as well but i don't want to get it on the tips of the lashes i really just want to lock it in right here at the base and then i just have like a little ram spoolie i'm just gonna brush my lashes for something that i diy'd at home i feel like these came out bomb definitely better than the last time that i did diy lash extensions but this is definitely going to be a go-to for me when i don't feel like going to get my lashes done um or if i want to just do it at home myself i think this is a very affordable but like doable option for you guys myself included like i'm literally i'm obsessed these look so good like literally the this set would cost me at least 130 or 140 dollars like this is i feel like is a nice little hybrid wispy set if i wanted them to be fuller and heavier i feel like i definitely could achieve that i just have to layer more not heavy they're not hurting me it's just it's so good i'm so excited these look so good a little mini lash curler and I'm gonna squeeze these bad boys. Babes. What? So cute. I'm gonna do my makeup and I'm gonna come back and give you guys my final thoughts. You guys! I finished doing my makeup and I put my little ponytail on show. And I'm feeling so cute. Look at these lashes. Oh my god, they came out so good. So I want to actually zoom in just so you guys can get one last real good look at them. Um, but this is what they look like underneath. And this is what they look like on top. It's really smooth. So because I placed them underneath, my lashes are obviously sitting on top. So I can take a spoolie and I can brush through them like um, when i get my lashes done literally this is gonna be my new thing i'm obsessed oh my god i'm definitely curious to see how long these last so i want you guys to follow me on instagram because i'm gonna be updating my instagram stories throughout the week with any updates on these lashes if i have any that drop out how they're wearing typically um apparently they're supposed to last up to a week that's what other people were saying so i'm gonna try and make them push for two because i feel like i put a lot of the bond on and i made sure to seal them in really good and then i also know that i'm not gonna wet my lashes because i'm someone that typically does get lash extensions i don't like wet my lashes throughout the week so i'm able to have really good retention so hopefully i can make these last for at least two weeks because i think that would be so cute 
but these are perfect like these are literally the most perfect diy lash extensions i've ever done on myself let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section give me your thoughts let me know if you like them if it's something that you guys are going to try out if you do then i definitely want to see make sure you tag me on instagram i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching this video make sure you click that subscribe button down below and join the tribe turn on your post notifications you can give this video a huge thumbs up down below and don't forget you are smart you are beautiful and people love you i love you and i can't wait to see you at my next upload bye